Hello everybody, Gigi here from Lila's Gigi.nails on Instagram and Lila's Gigi on YouTube. This is part of a collab hosted by Judy, Judika Nail Art, for the YouTubers Nail Art Weekly Stamping Collab. And um, she chose black and white. And such a classic combination black and white is. I love it. I, and I chose to do butterflies and flowers. So hang on a second and I will show you what I used for this mani. And I'll be using the Queen Pure White Stamping Polish. This butterfly off of the Born Pretty Plate BPL043. This flower and this bunch of butterflies here off of BP34. I'll be using Cirque Colors. Memento Mori. Not sure if you can see that. I will be using Yellow Stopper for my decals and I will be topping it all off with Sachet Vite. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make decals. I'm going to make decals out of this flower because I have one here and if you look at the other one, it is reversed. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. Let me get this white opened. In our new house we have central AC and it gets a little chilly and I'm always afraid my polishes are going to dry out. So let's just get this one done so I can find that I'm always losing my scraper and what have you. So I have that on there and I don't think this is going to work but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, it did work, it transferred. Um, not very well. I'm missing some pieces up there, but I think I can live with that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the yellow stopper and put that on here. Let me just do that real quick. I don't want to make a full decal out of it because I'm going to actually stamp this from here onto my nails. So let me so I just want to get, hopefully I'm not going to smear this, I just want to get the design itself. So let's see if I can get that done without smearing. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'll set that aside to dry because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it off of here and put it right onto my nail. So that's one of them. So let's grab the other plate and do the same thing with that butterfly. <clears throat> this one right down here. Uh, yeah, guess what? I'll be right back. I need to grab another stamper. Alrighty, so I grabbed another stamper and I'm looking at this and I don't think it's going to transfer. It's a little chilly in my room here and I believe that's probably going to dry. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is just put some yellow stopper on this. Well, you know what? I'm going to just stamp it first and then I'll put yellow stopper and make a decal out of it. And hopefully that will work. Let's see if we can't get this picked up. Sometimes um, you can get them to work and sometimes you can't, so you just have to play with them. Okay, so that picked up fine. And let me get some of this off of here, although I don't think it's going to matter. I'm going to go ahead and very carefully, like I said, it's a little chilly in here, so I don't think it's going to matter so much. I'm going to try to use a yellow stopper. Um, it's a little thin, so. I don't think it's going to smear, but I won't know until I take a, a better look at it. I'm not so hot with decals. Um, I've been known to mess up my stamper head getting them off. <laughs> so I'm going to just go ahead. I think that's going to be okay. We'll go ahead and set that aside to dry. And in the while that's drying, I'll go ahead and finish up this mani. All right, so let's go to the other plate, the BP. Three, four, and I'm going to clean that up and stamp those. I'll go ahead and stamp the butterflies on my thumb first. It might be um, a little too. What did I do with my just lost? Oh, there it is. <laughs> lost my white polish. Um, anyway, it might be a little too small, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Pick it up, scrape, pick up the image, and see if we can get this on here. Okay, it looks like it was just the right size. 
Okay. Just the right size so my nail was not too long. Um, during the move, I almost lost a few of them. <laughs> so I did. I had to trim them down because the ends were uh, starting to chip. So I'm gonna look at this and I want it to look the same. So now I'm getting my, I'm confusing myself as to which one goes where, but this swirl, as you can see, goes to the outside on both of them. So that will define which nail I'm actually going to put this on. Okay. Did I clean my, I don't even know if I cleaned, yes, my scamper head. A lot of times I'll forget to clean that scamper head. Okay, so it goes to the outside, so this will go on my, nope, <laughs> it will go on this finger. And I'm going to put it right here. Looks like a little flower is not wanting to stick. Okay, all right, so that turned out okay. Okay, let's get to crack a lack in here. And the butterflies, I'll go to the other plate. I have to clean that still. And again, I want them to be facing each other. So once I pick that up, I'll know exactly which finger to put it on. This was a fun Manny. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing this one a lot. Okay, butterfly came out okay. I've got some stuff up there that might transfer. I'm hoping not, but we'll see. All right, so this is going to go on my ring finger. Make sure that I am in frame. I'm going to just stick her right there. There you go, she looks pretty good. Okay, so the dry one is this flower, and that's going to go on the pinky, so let's see if I can get it on there without causing too much damage. I meant to the decal. <laughs> and is it not gonna, it doesn't want to come off. It does not want to come off, but I guess I'm gonna to have to try to pick that off with my, <clears throat> and I'm not very good at this, so I'll just keep my fingers crossed that I don't damage this. I wish there was something else that was a little bit smaller, you know, that you could use. Oh, I think we're gonna be okay, even though I broke part of that. And I think we're gonna be okay because it's for my pinky. So let's just try to sit that on there. Well, you know what, I probably need some yellow stuffer, but I think I'll get it, I'll place it first, maybe. <laughs> I'm having some technical difficulties here. It wants to curl around my other finger. All right, well, and now it's falling off. Of course, it's because Gigi doesn't know what she's doing and I have it flipped around the wrong way. So just bear with me, this is why I don't do a lot of decals. I don't, they, they give me trouble every time. So, you know what, that's close enough, I think. What do you think? Yep, I think that's good for the little finger. Again, I don't do a lot of decals because I just struggle with them. And for you ladies that do your decals and do a wonderful job, I commend you. Definitely commend you. But yeah, I have problems with the decals. So I'm going to use my Q-tip to get the underneath part. So I can do that on, on camera. Because you get it, sometimes you'll get a lot of a lot of polish under there, and it's not always fun to clean up. Okay. That looks pretty good considering it was almost botched, right? I think that will be fine. All right, so now comes the butterfly, and I know that this is not the way it goes on because of the, the shape, so I'm probably gonna have to pull that one off too, and it feels like it's okay to pull off. 
and I probably, if I'd realized, you know, from the beginning that this is what I was going to end up doing, I probably um, would have put more of the clear on, but I didn't. So I should probably do this off camera. Makes me a little nervous. Okay, so I have to turn this around. I hope I didn't mess that up. And it's going to get this out of the way. It's going to go right here. Some way, I hope. And I don't have a clear down on this yet because some, you know, I don't want to mess the decal up. I, I have a hard enough time with it as it is. And if I put the clear down, it would definitely stick right away. So I'm just trying to maneuver this. And I think, I think that's good. You can tell it's a butterfly, right? Okay, so let me clean that up. Yeah, I struggle with decals. I struggle with a lot of stuff, but mostly decals. They give me, they give me heartburn. <laughs> going to be all right. Let me get my Q-tip again and just check underneath. It's just right on the edge. It gives me trouble. I think that's good. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be as white as this one doing it as a decal. Um, I don't know if the clear that you put on melted or what. I, I have no idea, but <clears throat> that's okay still very pretty. Just not quite as opaque as I would have liked. But we're good. I'm going to go ahead and put my sesh on and just float it over the nail so I don't smear the polish that's there and cap the ends. No, I didn't clean this one up, did I? I'm almost got some work to do. <laughs> got some work to do. I may as well do that now. I love doing these collabs. I have really missed them. I have missed the girls. I've missed their photos. I've, I've had time to look at their videos, but um, not time to do my own. And look at that, it's just being messy. The white is giving me a little bit of an issue here. But again, that's fine. I'll get that off with another, <clears throat> excuse me, Q-tip. I don't know why that was doing that. I didn't think there was that much white on there, but evidently there was. Oh, and that must mean that my dinner is just about ready. <laughs> okay, stop. There we go. Set the timer for my for my dinner. It can wait a few minutes until I get this top coat on. I don't even know if I, I think I did that one. Oh, goodness me. I'll check it in a second. But I think they turned out really nice. I love uh, black and white. And see, I'm not just not a fan of decals. Uh, water decals, I seem to be okay with, but um, the polish gets a little thick, and I'm sure there's something else that I can use for um, the decal itself, the clear on top. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the box below, in the comments below, and. Um, I'll try it. I mean, I'll try it just about anything, I guess, because, you know, you guys know so much more than me. I'm just doing this for fun, and I know, I'm sure you are too, but you guys are, there are so many people that are so much more knowledgeable than I am, and I listen, or try to listen to what they say. But they turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with them. All right, so thank you so very much for watching. Uh, I will leave the information for the other ladies um, links in the box below and please show them some love give them a follow it would be most appreciated and um, if you would if you came across me from their channels thank you very much for joining me if you'd subscribe I would like that very much that'd be very sweet of you and um, again have a great day, and as always, be kind.